Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Blogs on YouTube, and today we're going to be comparing the SwitchBot K10 Plus with the new SwitchBot K10 Plus Pro. Now, both of these are mini robot vacuums from SwitchBot, and both of these are ones that I have used. There are also four reviews of both of these on my channel if you want to dive into them any deeper. I'll link those below. But what I'm going to do in this video is share my experience of using both of these around my house. I'm going to talk about the different features, my experience with them both, and hopefully help you make a decision as to which one is right for you. And let's start off by talking about price. So the K10 Plus has a price of £400. Now there are regular offers on this, including at the time of recording one on Amazon that brings it down to £300. The K10 Plus Pro has an RRP of £600, but at the time of recording, Switch will have an offer that brings it down to £420. And the main thing really is to look out for offers and always check the prices on Amazon and SwitchBot's website. There are really regularly offers on both of those sites and I also have a voucher code below which will save you 10% on SwitchBot's website. I'll put links to Amazon and SwitchBot below with both of these products. If you want to use these with Matter, so bring them into something like your Apple Home app, then you are also going to need a SwitchBot Hub 2 or a SwitchBot Hub Mini with Matter support. You can bundle these with the device when you buy them, but at the moment it literally just takes it into the Apple Home app and makes it look like a switch. That's because at the moment Apple Home doesn't support robot vacuums, but support for that is coming with iOS 18, and so I'd expect SwitchBot to add support for that pretty soon afterwards. That's not been confirmed yet though by SwitchBot. Without the help however, because both of these devices have built-in Wi-Fi, you can use them with Siri shortcuts, Amazon Alexa, and Google Home voice assistants. So let's move on to design. So both of these have very similarly designed docks and hoovers themselves. If we talk about docks for a second, the design is pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is that on the K10 Plus you have a black back, and on the K10 Plus Pro you have a grey back. The actual vacuums themselves have pretty much exactly the same size. That includes a height of just 9.2 centimetres, which is one centimetre smaller SwitchBot, say, than any other robot vacuum on the market at the moment. Practically, that means these are better than any other vacuum I've used at getting under things like sofas and coffee tables. If you look at each of these vacuums as a whole, the main difference is that the K10 Plus Pro has some extra larger sensors on it. These are used for getting close to corners during a clean and navigating obstacles better. And that leads us nicely to talk about the spec between these two. So both have exactly the same size battery, the same noise levels, which is as low as 45 decibels. They can both travel over steps up to two centimeters tall. They both have LiDAR and SLAM navigation sensors. They both support a mopping mode with a sort of wet wipe attachment, which I'll talk about later. And they both have a HPA filter inside. Likewise, both connect to your home Wi-Fi using a 2.4 gigahertz network. And then as I said, they support Alexa, Google, and Siri shortcuts. If you want to get it into a Matter compatible app, such as Apple Home, you are going to need one of SwitchBot's hubs. And then finally, for similarities, both docks have bags that take up to four liters of waste. That means you're only going to need to empty it once every three months or so. And this brings us on to the main differences. And the big difference is in suction power. The K10 Plus has a suction power of 2,500 PA, and the K10 Plus Pro has a 3,000 PA suction power. The Pro also has a new position sensitive detector. This helps it navigate around things like chair legs and get closer to edges. The other difference we should talk about is the brushes. So the K10 Plus Pro has a new completely rubber brush. This is designed to help it stay tangle free. And in using it, this does work. You get less stuff trapped around it than its predecessor. And that's the main difference in, in terms of spec. If we talk about accessories that come in the box, both come with a spare brush, a spare filter, and a spare bag. That gives you two brushes in total, two filters, and two bags. Of course, you also get instructions, the dock, and the vacuum itself. So let's talk about setup. And setup is exactly the same for both. You get the little brushes attached to the bottom, you plug in the dock, you attach the hoover, and you switch it on and follow the instructions in the SwitchBot app. You find these instructions by hitting the plus in the top and selecting the device you want to add. During that process, you'll connect it to your home Wi-Fi, give it a name and assign it to a room. At that point, you're also going to send it off on a mapping mission around your house where it will quick map the house. It will also divide areas into rooms. So let's talk about using both of these. And the experience of using them as a whole is very similar. So for both, you can send them off on a clean using the SwitchBot app or using your voice or a third party app of your choice. You can set schedules in the SwitchBot app. You can also do things like adjust the suction power, empty the dust, or do a whole variety of other things. That includes checking the life cycle of those accessories. You can also do a bit more of those maps, including setting things like no-go zones and no mop zones. With both of these, you can also lift them up and take them to a different floor in your house and create a brand new map for that level. You can then save and manage these maps in the app. And I've used both of these in exactly the same way when I haven't been testing. 
I've just used them at different times. And essentially that's been to have a regular daily vacuum of the downstairs of my house at a particular time. Now the downstairs of my house is all hard floor, so I have brought it upstairs to test it on carpet. And the carpet upstairs of my house is quite short pile, so I haven't tested it on anything thick, but I have tried it on shaggy rugs before and it does just get stuck. The same applies to both models. And basically both perform in very similar ways. The Pro with its extra suction power does do a bit better on carpets, but there's not a big difference. I also made a bit of a mess and gave both a bit of a test downstairs. That included throwing down some pasta, some semolina and some cat biscuits. Both did a good job at cleaning up the mess, although I'd say the Pro actually did a better job. That's especially true for the semolina. And in using both, I've noticed three things in particular that give the Pro a slight edge. Firstly, it cleans quicker. It can do the whole downstairs of my house in around 25 minutes. If we compare this to the Plus, then that did 40 minutes. Secondly, the Pro does handle corners and obstructions much better, and it just glides around chair legs rather than bumping into them. And actually, this is really impressive to watch. And then thirdly, the Pro seems to be better at getting itself out of trouble. The cat's litter tray has a rubber mat bite, which doesn't particularly go high off the ground, but it is a bit bumpy. Now the K10 Plus used to get into trouble on it and eventually give up and send me a notification. The Pro can wiggle off of it with no issues. It's worth noting, however, that both do struggle with steps. So I have a threshold that's quite chunky between my bedroom and hallway, and neither can get over it, even though I don't think it's quite two centimetres tall. That's the limits which I'll say it can handle. And this is one of those things where the small profile of this vacuum that gives it this massive advantage to be able to get into tiny little spaces and under all sorts is also its downfall because it does struggle with some little steps. So let's wrap up this video and say which of these is the best one to go for. And realistically, with all the different offers that happen, the price difference is gonna be about hundred pounds. So if we take the current offers that are on where you can get the K10 Plus for 300 pounds and the K10 Plus Pro for 420 pounds, and I think that's gonna be pretty common as this device continues to be sold. And actually, I do think the Pro is worth hundred pounds more. And that's because it's faster, it's got more power, and it's much better at avoiding objects and this means it's gonna bump into things less. Although of course the bumpers on both means that it doesn't do any damage when it does bump into things. And the only feature I haven't really talked about in this video because I personally don't think it's a feature is the mopping feature. And both have exactly the same mopping feature whereby you attach a kind of mopping plate to the bottom of it and wrap a wet wipe around this and send it off to mop. And this is sort of nice to have, but something I never use because running a wet wipe around the entire downstairs of your house is not a mop. That means if you do desperately want a mopping feature, you might want to look at the Switch by S10, which I haven't actually tried, or look at a variety of other vacuums that are out there. But all in all, however, when it comes to robot vacuums, these are my favourite on the market. And this is largely because of their small profile, and they can get into gaps that I'd find it awkward to get into with a normal vacuum, such as under the sofa. They also get pretty close to edges and corners, although of course the K10 Plus Pro does that slightly better. All in all, however, I think these are kind of designed to meet whichever budget you've got and whichever one you can afford, I don't think you'll be disappointed with. Like I said, for an extra £100, I do think it is worth getting a Pro, but it all depends on your own budget. If you've got any questions about either of these, do stick below and I'll answer those. I do genuinely try and respond to every single comment I get. I've also got reviews for both, which I'll link in the description. There's also links in the description for you to pick up each of these. There's links to SwitchBot and Amazon, and they will go to whichever country you're in. There's also a voucher code if you buy one via the SwitchBot website. Now, all of those links are affiliate links, which means if you do spend a bit of money using those links, I will get a very small cut of what you spend. That just helps me keep this channel going and make videos for you guys, because this isn't my full-time job, and I don't get paid to make videos, and I deliberately never accept sponsorship for videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you